Bleaking Live. Hi there, Bling Team. So this is going to be a quick one because I just noticed I'm at 25% of my battery. But trying to do these Sundays team trainings. I can't promise it'll be every single Sunday, but I'm trying. Hi, Lakeisha. So, hi, Michelle. Hi, Tevis. So, I, uh, yeah, my hair. <laughs> yeah, I um, did my hair today and flat ironed it. It was super cute. And then I cooked dinner and now it's a frizzy mess. I need somebody to tell me, somebody with natural hair, Lakeisha, what do you put on your hair when you flat iron it <laughs> to keep it from frizzing out? <laughs> Hi, Carla. Hi, Elizabeth. So, um, hi, Paula. So I um, wanted to hop on here with some tips. And, and these are some good tips. It's about your business page versus your personal page. And um, I don't know if you guys saw what I posted on our team page. Um, it's training video from, it's called, uh, ugh, Fallon is the lady's name. The Lady Tribe or something like that. Thank you for the hearts, but they're, um, they've been very, very good. And so um, I wanted to share with you the notes that I took, and I'm going to do some more training on this. And she's doing the last training tonight at 10 o'clock, and I'm going to try to stay up and get on that. We're doing the radio show tonight. After, the, after I finish this, I have to record the radio show, and then I'll try to get on her training. But um, they've been excellent. The thing about it is you have to watch them and then they go away. They, they're only um, active for 24 hours and then they expire. Unless you join her group, which um, uh, you can join right now. I think that is like there's a cost. And I think it's like $7 or something like that for the first month. And then it's something. I don't know what it is. But um, I'm probably going to do that too. But for now, I'm just doing the free stuff. <laughs> So anyway, this is about personal profile versus your business page. Um, and it was very, very good. And I took some notes to share them with you guys. Um, so let me know, do you use your, let me know if you have a business page. Um, let me know on here if you have a business page. Just let me know in the uh, comments. I use the main choice daily hairdressing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know your hair is gorgeous, so I'm like, wait, let me find out from her, because yeah, I, I was like, I don't care, I'm going to go live anyway. <laughs> um, so let me know, do you guys have a business page yet? Give me a thumbs up and type in the comments and let me know if you have one. Elizabeth, you have a business page, good. One thing she said that she recommends is um, for you to create a business page immediately. As soon as you think you're going to start a business, create a business page. And that is um, because, especially like if you're going to have a name for it, like for me, I'm Tanya's Bling. Well, there was already a Tanya's Bling business page. So um, I could call mine Tanya's Bling because I noticed she wasn't even active. But I had to, like for my username, it was, um, uh, what was it? Tanya's Bling. What am I? Tanya's bling it, Tanya's bling it. So, you know, I would have preferred Tanya's bling, but that was already taken. Um, so that's why she says, you know, at least do the business page and set it up so that you kind of like reserve that page um, for your business. And so there's a lot of other really good reasons why she said to do a business page. And it's funny because I've always been so much like personal page, personal page, personal page. And it's true when you're trying to get sales. Um, for me, when I do like a live for my business page, I get very little interaction, um, if any at all. And, um, but when I do it for my personal page, you know, I get a lot more. And she said it's better to max out your personal page, um, keep growing it, keep um, adding friends and all of that, and then move over to your business page. And what she gave as an example is a lot of us have personal pages. We've had them for like 10 years, but the business page, you just created it. And the personal page, you're posting on there all the time and you're posting good content, stuff that people enjoy. They like seeing stuff about you and your personal 
um, you know, life and cute pictures of you and your kids and your dogs and cats and all of that. Um, and so that is, um, that means that your personal page is growing, but your business page, what we do is what we post business stuff, boring business stuff <laughs> that people kind of don't really care that much about. So, and we don't even post it regularly. It's sporadic. It's like, one day you'll post and then maybe you'll post the next week, you know, or it's just like um, graphics from the company's page or whatever. And so she said that um, you just have to not think of it as this versus this. So it's not your personal page versus your business page. You have to think of them kind of like complementing each other. And they're all like pieces of your important puzzle for social media growth. And um, what she said is that what you want to think about is they are all feeding into what? The news feed. So whether someone is posting on their personal page or their business page, you're going to see it on your news feed as you're just scrolling through Facebook. So if you think about it that way, then you're just thinking, okay, what's something interesting that I'm going to post to the news feed that's going to catch someone's attention? Even though I'm posting it from my business page, if I'm posting um, just a picture of a piece of jewelry that I got from my back office, do I really expect a bunch of interaction on my, from people seeing that on the news feed? No, typically people will just scroll past that. So um, instead, what you want to post are things that will be interesting. And she said you want it to be um, attractive and valuable and a mixture of content, some business content, of course, but also some other fun content and interesting content that you want to post on there. You want to use like attraction marketing. So if you're, if you're going to post about your business, post something like, you know, maybe I would post this like, hey, I, I, I need some help with my hair. It's all frizzy. I need my natural hair people to tell me what do you use for to keep your hair from turning all frizzy. <laughs> and then I could tag this product or maybe put in the comments, you know, or if maybe somebody would mention like, oh, I like your earrings or your necklace or whatever. And then I could come back and say, oh, well, da 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 da, you know, and that's how you kind of sell kind of you know, you're not just blatantly like, ah, oh, I'm trying to sell you something, you know. Um, it's more valuable content and interactive and connecting kind of information. So that was something she said. She said to use, she asked, do you use Facebook as a tool or a toy? And I thought that was a good question. I'm like, both. <laughs> um, but she said, um, <coughs> sorry, I have a wrong pipe issue i'm i'm live it's okay close the door i'll let you know when i'm done i said close the door i'll let you know when i'm done so she said um all the way so sorry <laughs> so she said if you're using it as a toy you're just like posting fun stuff with your um you know just posting like fun stuff maybe you're on there playing games which i just started doing um carla martin on our team her husband already he keeps versing me versing me i don't know, competing against me in a game word blitz um and i just started that <laughs> him and another lady uh, who i don't even know but i keep going against her too so anyway i digress um that's treating facebook like a toy if you're just doing that stuff treating it like a tool, which it is an amazing tool. It's actually, believe it or not, the number one, still the number one um, used social media site. And she gave how many people, uh, she gave some really good stats about it. And I thought I took notes on it, but I don't know. I don't see them here. But anyway, she said, if you're using it as a tool, then you want to be cognizant of the actual content that you're posting. And so, um, you know, and using your group, your business page, and your personal profile all cohesively. And she said that um, uh, this was interesting too, and I already kind of hit on this a little bit, but she said in the beginning, you can put 
more of your time in your personal profile um, until you have it so much engagement wise and maxed out that you can't keep up with the engagement on there and that's when you need to switch to a group or a business page for creating your content but she said the um, exception to that is if you go live on Facebook if you go live she said it's very important to go live from your business page um, and so other than that she said most of your effort and energy should still go to your personal profile but she said it's kind of up to you if you want to just put it on your business page and then grow it then you can do that too and joining groups like hers where you learn how to strategically do that is very important um, because there is a, a method behind the madness there um, and then she said you don't really need to have a group in the beginning which I thought huh that's interesting but I, again I think it's kind of just you know where do you want to put your time and energy if you have a group and it's going well and you're putting your time and energy in that and it's doing really well performing well people are responding to your posts you enjoy it it's fun um then i say keep doing it if you have a group that's super dead then maybe think about putting a little more time and energy in your personal profile and maybe on your business page um, and then the last thing I'm going to share, and again, I'm going to do some more lives and go a little bit deeper with this stuff <laughs> after I learn it all. Um, but she said that the good thing about doing stuff from your um, business page is, well, your business page is searchable, number one, on the internet. Um, so people can find, you know, you easily just Googling things. Um, but also your videos when you do go live. Uh, from your desktop, you can do lots of really cool things. Um, you can put a title with your video, and that title is searchable. Um, so people can search, you know, if you put a title of uh, paparazzi bling bash or something like that, you know, if I was searching Facebook paparazzi bling bash, your video would pop up. Um, you can also do tags in your video. You can tag people, you know, you could tag me. Um, or your other uplines, you can tag, um, which some uplines don't like it. <laughs> I'll say that right now, but I do. I like to share uh, my team's lives. I mean, if, if it's a hot mess live, I'm probably not gonna share it. Don't get offended. <laughs> but I do like to share um, you guys' lives, you know. Um, I think it's good. It shows that my business is booming. I have an active team. Um, if I'm not going live a whole lot, then I definitely want to be sharing you guys' lives uh, because the more you sell, the better for you and the better for me. Um, but you can also do things like uh, use the video and then run ads um, on your business page with the video. Um, ads are super duper inexpensive. You know, you can run an ad for just a couple of dollars. Um, you can also this is super cool you can tag products at the bottom of your video oh my god you guys have all kinds of comments and i just saw him hi neosha hi lasagna hi belinda hi carrie <laughs> carrie you were on i'm sharing the lady tribe information um i'm gonna come back and answer you guys questions sorry i didn't even see that scroll in there um but this is really cool you can tag products so in your video, you have to do it from your desktop, you'll see where you can tag products in there. And you could have things like, I could have this necklace, or I could have other things like blockbusters, things that are really common. That would probably be easier to manage. Um, like the blockbuster pieces or the Z collection would be really good. Um, especially because when you're live, you're showing all the $5 jewelry, but you could tag the Z products down below, which is, of course, the more expensive jewelry. <laughs> and um, it's really, really neat. So you set the products up on your business page. And then when you're um, editing your live, which you do it after you're, you've gone live, you can go back in there and edit it and tag the products. And that way, when people watch like the replay of your live, and, and maybe you can even do it for the actual live, but um, when they're watching it, they'll see your products across the bottom. It's like a carousel and they could purchase right from those links. So it's super, super important to make it as easy as possible um, for people to, to um, 
buy your products. You can also add polls, which I tried to do this today and it didn't work for me. So I'm gonna have to practice that a little more, but you can add a poll um, to the live afterward, asking people different things. Hi, Shasta. Hi, Thaisa. So yes, um, let's see, you can tag it, telling Facebook what it's about. The more information you give Facebook, the better. That way, um, Facebook will help promote and add um, and show your video to the right people. Super important. Um, when you're doing the tags, there's some tags that Facebook has and then some that you create on your own. So um, another thing you can do on your business page, this is all just related to your business page going live. Um, you can add it to a playlist. So you could have a playlist of all your live jewelry jewelry sales. You could even do your lives and classify them. Like maybe I'm gonna do a live of just necklaces. So then I have a playlist of necklaces, a live of earrings or of blockbuster pieces or whatever. Um, you can also put on your playlist other things like tips, jewelry tips, you know, because it's good to not just be all about selling jewelry, jewelry, jewelry all the time. Again, you want content that's relatable and people are interested in. So you could do other kinds of tips, jewelry wearing tips or um, fixing jewelry <laughs> tips or something that's not even about jewelry, a makeup video or how to keep your hair from frizzing out. <laughs> so um, you can put all those on different playlists and that's how you build a following. Um, you can also change your thumbnail. I've joked about this before when I've gone live. Oh my God, the worst one. I'm gonna come back, you guys, and look at all your comments. Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore you, but I just wanna get through everything. But the worst one I can think of was when I was live and I had turned around and bent over to get a piece of jewelry. And of course, that was the, the thumbnail that Facebook chose to say. It's me turned around with my butt sticking in the screen. <laughs> Thank God I knew how to change it. Actually, I think, Carrie, I think you might have taught me how to do that a long time ago. But, um, yeah, so I, I changed that one, needless to say. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you can change it. You can pick from one of the thumbnails that they have. Or you can... Um, Upload your own custom thumbnail. Yes, it's really funny. <laughs> um, you can, oh, also you can do something like, and this I'm going to have to study a little more on, and Carrie's going to be a great resource too. I, I shared a post, go back and look on our page um, for Carrie. She does a coaching, sideline coaching, I think is what it's called, right, Carrie? And she's really good at social media stuff. <laughs> and so um, this one was, I thought, cool too, where you can have it, you have your video playing on multiple play pages. So it could be on your business page. And then if you have any other kinds of business pages, it could be on that page as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, so um, you can turn on subtitles for your video, which is cool, and captions. Um, a lot of the videos now, I think she said like 80 or 85% people watch them without sound. So that's really good that you can add that in there. Um, and background music. Oh, and then they also have where you can choose um, like royalty free background music from your business page only for your live, because I know you guys know, like you'll put, I do not own the rights to this music, but that doesn't really work. Um, so if you want background music, if you go live from your business page, you can choose um, music for background. So there's a lot of really good and fun information. And this lady has grown her following um, tremendously in a very, quick period of time organically and she's a great person to you know get connected with plugged in with and learn from so go back and look there's probably a post I've been sharing them every day but again they expire every day so um, you'll probably see maybe the last one is still there and she's doing one tonight at 10 o'clock so check it out um, the one she's doing tonight is on bots so on your business page, it was so cool. Like she would tell us to type something in the comments, like 
where I said, do you have a business page? If you said yes, then immediately in your inbox, you would see this bot. It looks like her sending you a message. Hey, you know, would you be interested in learning more about business page, you know, posts on Facebook or whatever, like you preset it and the bot does the work for you. It's amazing. Um, if people comment bling on your, you know, when you're selling, uh, doing a live sale, if they comment bling or sold or mine or whatever your word is, um, your bot could instantly send them a message in their inbox about how to purchase. It's amazing. So that's what she's teaching on tonight. I, I hope it's like, and that's the only thing, she goes pretty in depth for you to really know um, how to do this stuff, which is amazing. Cause a lot of times with these coachings, they'll give you just enough to know you're, you want it, but then you have to like pay for the rest. <laughs> um, but she gives a lot of really good information. So that's on there or that will be on and I'll share it to the team if I make it. Well, if not, I'll do it. I'll join tomorrow and, and share it. So Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me go and look back at your comments that I missed. All right, so Lakeisha has a business page. Woo -woo. Michelle does not have a business page because you don't visit other pages. Well, now I give you all the reasons why it's important. And I will definitely keep sharing more information on this because I think this is the kind of thing that can like really make a difference in your business if you learn how to do it right. That's the key. If you don't learn how to do it right, and I still don't really know how to do it right, your business page just feels like a dead space. And that's how mine feels. <laughs> um, but we're going to change that. Um, you do have a business page, just don't keep posting enough. Yep. Michelle, I prefer to use my personal page and group. Yep, yep. That is definitely understandable, um, but just keep your eyes and ears open in case there is a way, which I believe there probably is based on all this information I'm learning to do it better. Um, but again, well, I already said, you know, as far as your personal goes, it makes a lot of sense to max that out, you know, and keep growing that in your group as well. And Michelle, I know your group is doing great. Um, I use my story option. Yes, that's great on your personal page that directs people to your business page and VIP group. Wonderful. Yep, your story should be set to per public. Your personal page is private. Hmm, okay, well, that's another recommendation and to each his own, but I strongly recommend your personal page to be public if you're posting on there about your business. But if you're not and you're keeping it totally separate, then that's different. Um, but most successful network marketing folks have a public personal page. Um, alternate posts on your personal page from friends public a lot. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Yes, sideline coaches. Good. Lady Tribe. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. That's her website right there. Awesome. And she's got a, a group on Facebook too. I think it's the Mermaid Cove. Um, she's awesome. And I just found out she's in St. Pete, right? Like an hour and a half from me. She's near you, Taisa. So, um, yeah, she's doing a retreat. I wish I could go, but it's like three days. You stay in this mansion with her on the beach and learn everything. It's like a thousand dollars, like 999. So you might as well say a thousand dollars. Um, it seems amazing. Uh, she's doing payment plans, if anyone's interested. Uh, I can't do it. Mainly the, um, well, one, the cost, but mainly the um, time. I just, you know, with work and stuff, I can't do that. But anyway, that's my tips for today. Um, I think that's it. Let's see, Carrie. Oh, pick things you are okay with making public. Oh, that's good. In your profile and you will get 800% greater reach. So some things you can make public and some things you can make private and keep private. That's very good advice, Carrie. Thank you. Yay. Need to figure out Instagram for business. Yes, 
that is on my agenda too. I have it connected. My Instagram is connected to my Facebook business page. And because I have my shop set up on my Facebook business page, with the, which that's the other thing, um, even if you're mainly running your personal and your group, you could still set up on your business page a shop, which is amazing. Also reviews. People can write reviews for you on your business page. So it's like you can still kind of be building that up, even though you're not actively posting content in there just yet. Um, but because I have my shop set up on my business page, my Instagram, if I post, like if I posted a picture and I have done this, I actually did a cool one. I posted a picture of our radio show crew and for our photo shoot, we all wore um, Tanya's bling. I'm a sponsor of our radio show. And so for like our fun picture, we wore like the $5 jewelry. And then for our like nicer picture, we wore like the Z pieces, but I tagged, um, specifically for the Z piece picture, um, every piece that we had on, I tagged it to my shop on Facebook. So right in the picture, you just tag that and then it will take them. If they click your tag, they, it takes them to your Facebook business page shop and they can purchase it literally from a fun photo shoot picture that I posted. It's amazing. So that is definitely something I want to learn more about, but I'm, I'm starting to get into Instagram. I really don't care for it, but it's just because I don't really know it. I love it in a sense that I think it's very effective for connecting and people seeing visibility and stuff like that. But, you know, I just don't know what Facebook's my comfort zone, but I do really plan to use both. Um, funny. Yes, I understand that, Lakeisha. Yep, I get it. Paparazzi's bringing good. That's good too. We all got to get out of our comfort zones. <laughs> Hi, Jalisa. Thanks for joining. Yes. Awesome, Carrie. Thank you for that. Um, totally get that. A licensed counselor was one on 100% lockdown for over a year ago. Yep. I'm becoming more public and it's a process. I totally agree with that. And that's where, like Carrie said, you have to see Facebook differently. And that's what she was talking about. Are you using it as a tool or as a toy? Or toy, you can use that loosely, more like a personal connection, kind of fun place or a business tool. So that's kind of what she was saying there. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining. Instagram is not my fave. Really, Carrie? We just got to learn more about it. I think it's amazing. Um, you know, from certain things, but yeah, I know I love Facebook. Facebook's my favorite. <laughs> Plus you got to think about too, the different generations. And I know you know this, but I'm just kind of talking out loud, but you know, Facebook is not necessarily uh, the next couple generations fave. <laughs> so if we want to connect with them, yeah, got to go where they are. And my least favorite is Twitter. I hate Twitter. <laughs> I don't use that at all. I have it, but I don't really use it. Don't like it. Anywho, all right, guys, my battery is once again about to die. <laughs> and I got to get ready for our radio show recording. Thank you guys for joining. I hope this was valuable. Let me know if it was. Give me some hearts or some thumbs up or some laughings if it was. If it wasn't, give me some sad faces. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. I'm here if you need me. Let me know. Um, pros, you don't have to title your video on Instagram. There you go, Carrie. <laughs> Hi, Leah. Thanks for joining. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Have a great night. Bye. And I don't know if I just saw, I don't know if that was Colleen. I just saw a heart that the picture looked like it was Colleen. I don't think it was because I haven't seen that she joined. But if it was, happy birthday, Colleen. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.